Tony Soprano, a man whose name strikes fear into the citizens of New Jersey. He's a member of the DiMeo crime family and has risen through the ranks throughout his life from capo to street boss. He also suffers from panic disorder, a disorder that affects three to four percent of the American population. My name is Chuck Roast, and tonight we will be discussing Tony Soprano and his panic disorder. <coughs> You. What are you gonna do? Go ahead and kill on me now? Two to go. Colby up. Did I sit? Good. I gotta call Hunter. Look, Anthony's going in. Oh, yes! Anthony! Anthony! Do it! Do it! Do you all right? My leg is broken. The bone's coming through. Let me see. Let me see. Ah! I'll give you a fucking bone, you prick. Where's my fucking money? This time, just waiting on a call from you. Anthony Tony Soprano is a middle-aged man who lives in New Jersey. He enjoys boating, fishing, and playing golf. He lives with his wife, Carmela, and their two kids, Meadow, who's in her early 20s, and Anthony Jr., or AJ for short, who's in his early teens. He enjoys watching them and their activities. Meadow likes to play soccer, and AJ enjoys playing football. At first glance, he appears to be a family man, but as you dig deeper into his life, he has been corrupted by organized crime. At first, it felt like ginger ale in my skull. Mom, Daddy just fell. Mom, Dad, Tony. Oh my God, Tony. Get him. Get back. Mom, Dad, Daddy, Dad, Look, Dad. Hey, Junior, call 911. The diagnosis of Tony's panic disorder came after Tony suffered a panic attack in his own backyard. To help us understand what panic disorder is, we brought in Dr. Expert. Doctor? Thank you, Mr. Mr. Roast. Panic disorder is characterized by an intense irrational fear. This results in an unexpected panic attack. So how long do these panic attacks last? Most panic attacks will last around 10 minutes. Alright, so what's a panic attack like? What are some of the symptoms? In Tony's case, he usually passes out during a panic attack. Some of the symptoms one might experience are increased heart rate, sweating, trembling, chest pain, feeling dizzy, fear of dying, hot flashes, and shortness of breath. It can even mimic the signs of a heart attack, basically. Are you all right? I gotta go. What's the matter? Nothing. Just, um... I feel hot. Oh, my God, you're all clammy. Come on, let's get you home. No, no, you stay with them and help them, and uh, I'll see you later. A panic attack requires at least four of the previous symptoms to develop abruptly. Tony experiences shortness of breath, dizziness, sweating, and chest pains. Tommy's panic attacks seem to be uncued and not situational. They seem to come out of nowhere. So nothing seems to trigger the attacks? That's right.
vaccine will be sudden and progress very quickly. Is there any other disorder that is linked that Tony may have? Tony was also diagnosed with major depressive disorder. Um, it's closely linked with panic disorder as well. Tony! Honey, I told you that your mother was coming for dinner. How come my son's in a bathrobe? Is he sick? He's fine. Dad, you're depressed. Depressed? My father came to this country with 17 cents in his pocket, and he never made a peep. Ma? What's he got to be depressed about? Nobody threw him into the glue factory and sold his house out from underneath him. Ma, we all agreed we would sell you home. Nah, I'm going back upstairs. I was making a joke. Oh, yeah, I suppose it would be better if I never opened my mouth. Grandma, how could it be a joke if you're crying? Oh, I mean, this is really the last time. I am never coming back to this house. We brought in a friend of Tony. He's under witness protection, and his identity is being kept secret. He's here to help us discuss Tony and his life. How long have you known Tony? I've known Tony for 18 years. Describe Tony to me. Tony's a good man. He's a good friend who I really respect. I would do anything for Tony. He loves his family. He's a good partner to have. Has Tony ever mentioned anything about panic attacks? Well, at first, Tony kind of kept it on the down low, but everyone found out he was seeing a shrink. He doesn't really speak too much about it, but uh, we all know he's seen a therapist once a week or something like that. Or none of us really care. What is Tony's home life? Uh, Tony, Tony loves his family very much. He, uh, he always talks about spending time with them and watching his son play football or something like that. I don't really know. He used to take his mother out all the time until she pissed him off about something and he said that she was dead to him. And, uh, she passed away just recently. I think, it, I think it hurt him a little bit, but, you know, he got over it. I never really got into it too much. His wife, Carmela, she's very lovely, and a good cook, too. Now, Tony's a, he's a real good father and a real good husband. If I had an ounce of self-respect, I would cut your dick off! Is treatment an option for Tony Soprano? I believe it is a must. For a time, Tony was taking Prozac, and that helped some, but he has been seeing a therapist for the past six years. A the therapist, okay. Is there any other treatment options for Tony Soprano? At one point in time, cognitive behavior therapy was suggested to Tony, but the idea was quickly shot down. It is important for Tony to continue to seek treatment because of his severe panic attacks. He passes out most of the time during the attack. Cognitive behavioral therapy is one of the most well-studied and validated treatment for panic disorder with effect sizes of 0.9 to 1.55. It has been found to be equally effective in individual or group format, as well as in standard 14 to 18 meetings or brief six to eight sessions. Cognitive behavior therapy for panic disorder emphasizes psychoeducation about panic symptoms. Cognitive reconstructing focusing on reducing anxiety sensitivity. Although both medical and psychotherapeutic treatments are effective alone, cognitive behavior therapy has a stronger initial effect size and yields larger long-term effect sizes. I want to thank you for your time. You're welcome. Panic disorder affects 3 to 4 percent of the U.S. population. 28 percent of the population experiences at least one panic attack during their lifetime. Tony Soprano suffers from panic disorder and has severe panic attacks which appear to be non-situational. With the right treatment, Tony can learn how to control these panic attacks and master his panic disorder.